Dan Dan the Art Man's Book Reviews, Episode 1, Wuthering Heights, by Emily Bronte. Wuthering Heights is a well-written, dreadful story. Beware of spoilers. Before I start this review, let me just say that almost all all of my book reviews have absolutely no spoilers. This is a really old one, so it does have spoilers, but hey, the book was written a long, long time ago. So, here we go. This book was well written, but hard to read, because the characters are so awful. Just deplorable human beings. However, as I read I found a few characters to keep me on my quest of giving its old prose a second chance. These were Nellie Dean, of course, Catherine Linton, and Hareton Earnshaw. I hated this book in high school, but I must say, it's much better than I remember. The characters' moral temperament made me loathe them, and reading about them. Their extreme emotion and passion, like Catherine's last embrace with Heathcliff, was pretty cool. But at the same time, Catherine's love couldn't have been that great for Heathcliff if she married another for social status. If I met these people, I would go on a diatribe about their moral character. But hey, if this was something new and different from other literature back when Emily Bronte wrote this and she was trying to do something different with these characters than what was normal, then that's something to be commended. It all came together for me a little while after Linton Heathcliff's death, and young Catherine's livelihood overtook her grief. I must say, she's a pretty tough cookie, though she can be a brat. She had enough in her to make me care enough to find out what would happen to her. I suppose I hated Heathcliff enough, too, to want to see how his life would end, and in what manner. Though if Nellie, Catherine, and Hareton didn't brighten the pages a bit, I wouldn't have cared enough to keep turning them, till the denouement. All in all, I give this dreadful volume a four, because it was so well written, and though the story was rough because its characters were so awfully wretched, a few beat through the dim to leave you at peace instead of disgust as the story ended with a bit of joy. And though I didn't want to admit it to myself, this old gothic tale became a page-turner for me near the end, and I love page-turners. May you live in peace, young Catherine and Hareton, forgetting all of your family's dark history. I was in AP English, and this book was assigned to us to read uh, over the summer before school started. I and all my classmates hated it, so much so that when my best friend and I, uh, in our college years, would go to St. Vincent de Paul, I think every Tuesday, uh, because they had a sale and we could get books for less than a dollar, even sometimes pretty new books. Uh, we would always try and find a copy of Wuthering Heights and sneak it into the stack that the other guy was going to purchase. Because <laughs> we both hated the book so much. I have no clue what drove me to reread this book. But I, I guess I'm glad I did because I ended up liking it, even though the characters were just jerks. Um, so it was a dark tale full of evil people. But there, you know, there were a few bright spots, and so, anyways. If you have to read it for school, I hope you can get something good out of it. Like I said, it was really well written, as most books back then are. Most books that were written back then are also pretty boring, though, and don't have much of a plot. Uh, but, you know, that's a whole nother podcast. So, that's my review of Wuthering Heights. I hope you liked it. Most of the books I read are a lot more modern, and like I said in episode zero, if you didn't listen... Sci-fi and fantasy are kind of my favorites, and so you'll hear a lot of those, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by.
You can find the website that goes with this podcast at dandantheartman.com. Over on the right-hand side, click on the link and you'll see all the podcast episode posts that go with this podcast. You can follow me on Twitter at dandantheartman and find me on Facebook and Google Plus under the same handle. This has been Dan Dan the Art Man's Book Reviews. Thanks for stopping by and having a listen. We'll see you next time. This podcast is licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial No Derivative Works License. Music provided by Kevin McLeod over at Incompetech.com. Thanks for listening. <laughs>